Welcome back to episode 0094. I'm just kidding. We, we don't have numbers. Episode yet. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, back in our series, our guest series, got Ben Beard back here with us talking about insurance. Um, we've talked since our last videos and we promised ourselves that we wouldn't go over certain amount of minutes. Just we lied. Somewhere between seven yeah. and nine. I'm not sure. But no, we, we want to talk real quick. We had something we thought would be valuable, good information for you guys that are watching um, just about, we're talking about reviewing policies and I didn't think about this. I, we got an auto policy. Once again, I don't handle it. My wife handles our insurance because she writes it. So I'm just like, oh, it's an auto policy. Yep. I never need to touch it again yep. unless something changes, but that's not the case. How, how often should you look at that and review it with your agent, with the company to Absolutely, yeah. Weeks or um, whatever. Really recommend uh, taking a look at your home or auto policy every about three years. Okay. Um, insurance is one of those things it automatically renews. So a lot of people, if nothing's happening, they just keep paying the bill and yeah. don't even pay attention to it. I, I do it. Um, Unless the bill changes. Drastically. Absolutely. So um, one of the reasons why you need to do that is obviously going back to the three reasons that are important or the three things you want to look for in a company or an agent is the cost. Um, if you review it every three years, uh, the policy is going to automatically increase just a little bit to keep yeah. up with inflation. Um, obviously, it'll go up if you have a ticket or accident mm -hmm. or if you do have to file a claim. Um, so one of the reasons you want to look at it every three years or so and make sure you're still getting a good deal uh, is because of that cost. Um, that three year mark is also important because a lot of things can change in your lifestyle um, that may affect the coverage. Yeah. So. You may buy a new car. You may add a teenager to your policy, two teenagers to your policy. Um, you may swap out a couple vehicles. You may have a vehicle that's a lot older that you may not need to carry full coverage on anymore. Mm -hmm. um, those are reasons that you need to take a look at it because if you don't pay attention to it, you may be paying for coverage you don't need um, or you may need coverage and you don't have it and you don't even know it. Yep. Um, so that's another good reason. Um, and then the last thing on the home side is uh, a home policy will automatically increase 4% every year yep. to keep up with inflation. So if you insure a house for hundred grand, the next year you're going to be insuring it for 104. One, 104. So I've run into situations where customers are they're paying for a lot more insurance than they need. It's yeah. not going to take that amount of money to rebuild their house. Because so their property value didn't increase. Absolutely. The, the, the cost of the building materials didn't go up 4% every yeah. year. So. Uh, on the home side, if you look at that every three years, um, obviously that number increases the more expensive your house is. So that 4% is going to be a bigger number. Yep. Um, so that's the other reason is you may be paying for insurance that you don't necessarily need. So I, I think it's very important to review your policies, make sure you're getting correct coverage for the correct cost every three years or so. Um, and speaking of reviewing, how often, and I've had you come out and personally look at my house yep. uh, because I just didn't know. Um, mm -hmm. How often? I think we did some repairs there too. Yeah, put a stuff. couple bags of shingles on some more worn spots. Yep. Um, because my house, my roof is 16 years old, um, so basic instinct tells me, hey, I need to probably have somebody take a look at it. <laughs> at 16 um, years, yeah. 16 years old. So, how often should someone have somebody look at their roof? Because I don't, I go home, I don't look at my roof. Yep. Um, it's just there. So how often does somebody need to make sure the roof is inspected or looked at or how does that work? My, my rule, my opinion, um, my educated opinion is if it's new construction or if it's a house you're new to, regardless, at least every year for the first few years because there's a lot of different factors. I think in a great example would be, I think at your house, there's one point where the way a gutter was designed, yep. every time you got a drizzle, it pelted this one area with hurricane volume of water for that, you know, 10 square feet. Yep. And that's where we did a lot of repair. Um, if you're looking at it annually, you can see, hey, there's a lot of water going here. We could have literally turned that downspout and extended it two feet and right. completely avoided that damage. Yep. Um, so stuff like that, if you're new to the property um, or if it's a new house, because I mean, builders, as many contractors they have in and out, even very good builders, they can still have mistakes. And most of them in the first 12 months, they'll cover it. I've seen some even three, four years out where it was an install error that they covered it, but they can't catch everything. So getting somebody up on the roof to look at it and make sure everything's in in proper order is great. If you just had a new roof put on, you shouldn't need anybody on it for three years. 
if they did it right. Shouldn't need anybody on it for three years. Um, after that three years, next one's at the five year mark and then you get every year, two years after that. Yep. Because if it's done right, your maintenance happens at five to seven years, depending on a lot of, a lot of factors on sun exposure and stuff like that. Um, so three years is a good checkup just because you don't want to go too long. Some stuff like water volume might be creating damage and whatnot, but then at five years, your pipe boots will start to degrade and your sealant on nail heads will start to degrade. So it has to be freshened up. Um, if you don't, then it can avoid your warranty, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for us, we actually offer um, a renewable warranty. So once we've once you've gotten a few years on, we come back and look at it, do a do maintenance. We'll extend the warranty for another year, and then extend the warranty for another year up to I think 15 years. Yep. So, but because people are so bad about not doing it, we won't renew the warranty unless we come out. Right. Because if you've got a huge pile of leaves in a corner of your roof and it's holding water, then it freezes and pops the shingles. If it had maintenance, that wouldn't happen, and we couldn't see that, so it's not a warranty issue. So I would say if you're new to the property every year, um, if you just put a roof on, then you should be good for about three to five years, and then every year after that. Perfect. So thanks again for coming back out. I think Absolutely. we made it like under four or five minutes, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, it might have been a little bit longer than that. Maybe. But <laughs> hey, I mean, get somebody as beautiful as you on here. People want to see you. So. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching. If you have insurance questions, roofing questions, siding, windows, anything in that arena, we'd love to see the question in the comments. Um, ben, I'm sure you're open to questions. Absolutely. We're going to put his cell phone number plastered across the video. I'm just kidding. Um, all of his contact information will be in the description. I'm sure it's tagged somewhere in here as well. So thanks again for watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching another episode of our Ask the Roofer video series. If you like the content, please like, share, or subscribe here on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, whichever way you prefer to see it. And if you have questions, we'd love to get your input, see what you want to learn about, and, and do our best to help explain those things to you.